the modern system of measurement, System Internacional de Unite. The system of measurement used at present originated during the French Revolution. During the period of fast industrialization, need of a common system of unit was felt so that trade among countries could be easy. In 1875, an international treaty of meter was signed and an International Bureau of Weights and Measures was established. The International Bureau prepared platinum iridium rods of special cross-section which had two fine parallel lines engraved on them. The space between these two parallel lines was accepted as one meter. With scientific development taking place time to time, better and improved unit of length was introduced in 1960 in terms of wavelength of Krypton 86. Presently, we use SI. SI stands for the French name Système International d'Units, which means International System of Units. The SI is maintained by a small agency in Paris, the International Bureau of Weights and Measures or BIPM, and it is updated every few years by an international conference. The General Conference on Weights and Measures, attended by representatives of all the industrial countries and international scientific and engineering organizations. A physical quantity is represented by a numerical value followed by a unit. For example, mass of a body is represented as 50 kilograms, where 50 is the numerical part and kilogram is the unit of mass. The SI is based on seven base units or fundamental quantities and two supplementary quantities. The seven base units are length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, luminous intensity, amount of substance. The plane angle and solid angle are supplementary physical quantities. Go through the table for the SI units and their symbols. The seven base units and two supplementary units are not sufficient to meet the growing demands of modern science and technology. So various other units are derived from the seven base units and are called derived units. Some of the derived units are shown here in the table. Guidelines for SI units 
use uppercase to represent the symbol for a unit named after a scientist. Use lowercase to represent a unit not named after a scientist. Do not capitalize the first letter of the expansion of a unit named after a scientist. Never use plural to represent a unit. Insert a period or leave space to represent a compound unit formed by multiplication of two or more units. Use negative power or solitus for representing compound units formed by dividing one unit by the other. A symbol for unit is represented by the first letter of the unit, except for few units like Hertz, Pascal, Candela, Mole, Radian and Steradian. Never use full stop or comma or colon after the symbol representing the unit. Zero should be placed before a decimal number. Leave space between a number and a unit. A hyphen should be placed in between the number and the unit when the number is used as an adjective.